danger. People trying to cool off at the cove. New at 6, 10 News reporter John Horn. He's in La Jolla where even lifeguards are afraid of getting in the water. This sign's telling beachgoers to think twice before getting into the waters at La Jolla Cove. And now a growing number of San Diegans are saying those same waters are making them sick. It started as a small cut. In those rocky areas, you get mixed up on a regular basis. But Bob West says his most recent swim at La Jolla Cove nearly cost him his leg. Two days later, I had 104 temperature in my leg doubled in size. He spent nine days in the hospital fighting a waterborne fecal bacterial infection, potentially from the growing number of sea lions that live at the cove. But he's not the only one getting sick. Five San Diego lifeguards who patrol the famous La Jolla Beach have come down with staph infections in the last three months. One spent four days in the hospital battling the superbug MRSA. The county is testing the water weekly posting these warning signs, but on this hot San Diego day, they largely went ignored. You know, I'm worried more, more about the pedestrians and the people that drive out here. Okay. Parking is an art form in La Jolla on the weekend. Lifeguards are worried about the water, and it's affecting their ability to keep the rest of us safe. This means no more patrols or recreational swims. They're only going in the water to make emergency rescues. As for West and his swimming buddies, they won't get in at all. And they swim at the shores now. They just don't trust what's going on at the cove. But others do. Walking right past the signs and into the water, the sea lions call home. John Horn, 10 News. John tells us the county posts real-time water qualities at every local beach. We posted a link on 10news.com under the red television button so you can check your favorite beach.